Oh, not a particularly good kick, but eventually it's driven up towards the centre. Colling knocks it over his head, waiting there as well. Well, she's grabbing, he's getting the free kick for holding the man. It's called play on now as Welsh takes his kick. Goes out towards the southern side there. Again, Barker knocks it away from Moncrief. In comes Baker. Pushes the ball in front of him. Elliot is there. In comes Duperuzel. And Duperuzel will clear up towards uh, Malthouse. Malthouse on the wing. Brim is after him. Malthouse has got the break, however. Malthouse drives into the forward zone. And up goes Calvin Moore. And takes a beautiful mark for Hawthorne. Moore now gets it in towards the centre. Petch is there, but it's spoilt by uh, Theodore. Duperuzel travelling close to the ground, comes out with it. Into the forward zone it goes, and the mark has been taken by Colling. Gary Colling at the true centre-half forward position. Can he kick it? Kick from Colling, it's going to drop a little short. There they go, the ball not clear. It's a race, but who's going to win it? Whoa, and down they go. Bremner and Muir, and a throw in in that forward pocket for St Kilda. There's Alan Jeans telling his players to get up. Cover it in case it comes back quickly. Taken there by Peter Knights. Comes out towards the halfback flank. Karovic juggles the ball a little bit too tall for Ablett. A kick from Perovic now. It's going about 20 metres out from St Kilda's goals. A hands reach. Oh! It's Hunt. Rex Hunt has taken the big grab. That was a big grab, believe me. He's 20 metres out, Hunt. Look at Alan Jeans. He'd want to be a coach. Hunt, 20 metres out, kicking to the western end. It's on its way. It's a goal! And look at Jeansy there. 12 minutes into the final quarter. The scoreboard reads, Hawthorne 12-15-87.